Well, please welcome Jonah Bolden. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I just got to... That's all right. <laughs> I'm so excited because not only are you going to the NBA, you're going to the 76ers, which right now, of course, Ben Simmons is there, Joel and Bede. Mm -hmm. This is a team that could literally win the championship. How exciting is life for you right now? I mean, it's really exciting. Um, having my family around and just, just the Australian connection and... Knowing the, the people I'm going to be with in the team and stuff like that. I feel like I'm. you didn't meet my energy. I felt like, <laughs> I felt like I'm way more excited about you. Are you yeah. You're doing a lot more cool, calm and collected. Yeah, I could I learn so. a thing or two from you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How different is your world now? Like, you know, different to shooting hoops around Sydney, the world you're living in now. What are, what are sort of the main differences? Um, just people, like, kind of know me more now when I go out and kind of notice me. And I mean, like, I haven't really been back to Sydney since I've signed. Um, I've kind of just stayed in Melbourne and worked out and stuff like that, so. There are aspects of your accent, I know, with your dad and yeah. living over in the States that sound a little American. When we export people, often the twang comes in. Can you just hang on to as much yeah. of your Aussie accent <laughs> as possible? I'll try, I'll try. For us? Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> if you ever win a championship, can you hold up Put the, the trophy shame. and can you go, that's bloody awesome! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is, it's truth, I've got a ring! <laughs> could, you, could you promise us right now to do a shoey? <clears throat> What's a shoey? Oh! oh. oh but, but, the thing is, but hang on, here's the oh, thing. The, the what, beer yes. thing? Oh, yeah, but the here's beer. the thing, what, what size shoe are you? <laughs> 14. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. you'd be hammered. Yeah. You'd be, <laughs> you, you can't do a shoey, it'll yeah. kill you. That'd be over the legal limit. Yeah, it'd be, too much. Much. it'd be too much. Um, so Brett Brown is the coach of uh, Philly, yeah. who of course used to coach the Giants here, he coached the Boomers, and now Philly's recruited you and Ben Simmons. Is it a coincidence that he keeps picking up the sons of like players that he would have coached back in Australia? Uh, I mean, yes and no. That's the kind of the thing that he said when I got there, how it's kind of come full circle. You know, he coached my dad and Ben's dad and then him coaching over here and stuff like that. But I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's, I think it's just happened the way it's happened. Yeah, and I've noticed your dad's in the audience. Yeah. Uh, which is like for, for Tommy and I, so Tommy and I remember your dad, like in the heyday, like yeah. going to the to Rod Laver to watch uh -huh. these games, like it's actually intimidating being in the same room. <laughs> but he he didn't play in the NBA and you did, so you're better than him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I was better than him when I was like 16. So <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, so let's just be really clear about what you mean. So at 16, you're better than he ever was? Is that uh, what you're saying? I, I wouldn't go that far. But, <laughs> but for the age, at 17, when he was 17, I, I think so. Did you see him do, do our little in-break promo before? Yeah, I yeah. did. Nailed it? I, yeah, I didn't know if it was acting or if it was naturally. <laughs> kind of you mean you don't know if he's really proud of you or he had to no, act? No, he, he was... Yeah. <laughs> but check out, did you check out his moves in that like in that thing? Do you have any idea of what he was like as a as a basketball? Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. I mean, I know his his how he played here and his his kind of length of I think it was twenty plus years being yeah. here and seventeen seasons and just what he did for Melbourne sports and and the basketball here and then obviously me growing up in Sydney and moving to Sydney and stuff like that. But I mean. I think in my eyes he's a legend and, and in a lot of other eyes he's a legend. Well, I think it's undeniable. I mean, it won a championship here, MVP here. But I want to talk about the, the Aussies that are coming through on the world stage at the moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've obviously mentioned Ben Simmons, but then you've also got people like uh, Della Vadova, Paddy Mills. Right. You've got top NBA players that are Aussies. Uh -huh. What are the chances of us at some point in the future really contending in the Olympics? I mean, I've said in a couple of interviews yesterday, I, I think this will be... If one of the best uh, Olympic teams, um, if not the best Australian Olympic team. Um, and, and, and I kind of have, have no doubt in, in my mind that we sh will medal um, and, and contend with a USA team. I mean, every Olympics USA is, is the top, top team, um, but, but I think we, that we're up there um, come 2020. Did you see the fight the other week? Did you see Thon Maker throwing his, <laughs> yeah, yeah. his kicks and knees around? I did. What's funny is I was, I was actually supposed to be there. Oh. Um, no, I, I had told coach that I wasn't coming due to obviously my, my situation in um, summer league, but I was thinking I could have been there and, and it would have been funny just knowing the stuff I would have done. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done? Like, what? the same as Thon, to be honest with you. Well, like, try to kick people yeah, and miss, is that what you Fly kicks and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it was a brawl. I mean, what, what else do you do in, in a brawl? Are, yeah. you, are, you, <laughs> are, you, are you so glad that you're an NBA player? Because being a, as tall as you are, if you had to fly economy, that would be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, 
If you don't have the exit, yeah, it is. If you don't have the exit, yeah, it's, it's, you, there's no room. I mean, I couldn't last more than an hour flying, it, it, flying. Yeah, there. and then imagine if the prick in front of you tried to put their seat put back their to the car, but you'd just be like, no, you've got to be kidding me! It still me. happens, it still happens, and I just <laughs> push them back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best to be back tomorrow. It's been an absolute pleasure. Would you please thank Jonah Bolden? Yes. Time for what's going on. We're going to make right now for Australia Survivor. So enjoy that. But in the meantime, please thank Tommy Little, Rachel Corbett. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow at 6:30.